Yep. It's been a long while since you guys seen this game. I mean, long while. It took me a long time. I mean, it took me practically almost all night to get all this done. What I thought I would do to finish up this game for a final finale, before I do my review of the game, which is going to be the true final video, to wrap it up. It'll be the, as far as gameplay footage, it's going to be split up into so many parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a boss run, and I'm going to I'm going to say like two crystals are going to be really easy. I'm going to start with this one here so I can start getting crystals to show. I don't think I've ever shown this boss. But anyway, straw blight warning. If you are someone you know suffers from um, epilepsy, which is brought on to you by what is cause and effect of uh, seizures, which is brought on by uh, not always, but um, bright lights. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, flashing lights like that right there. That's kind of not good. Uh, so, yeah, so, or stress, which is nothing to do with this game. I mean, a little bit that could cause stress, could, which could lead to seizures. I don't know, because I don't suffer from it. But again, because I have a friend, I say again, not that I'm sure when this is going to be exactly posted, but... Uh, I might be posting this in January <laughs> sometime, which I mean, I might just do that. Uh, actually, I think I will, because, uh, well, I'm going to wrap this game up in January. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on that, and then I'll focus on getting some more videos up for another gameplay that I'm working on, which I'm not going to spoil it with this, because that'll be out later in sometime between February and this, what was it, March next month, the month after that? Anyway, I'm going to get as much as I can up of it. But either way, you might want to go ahead and adjust your brightness levels at your own digression as it goes along. Uh, just to be on the safe side, because this game can cause, can do that. It has a tendency to do that. I would never noticed that about Zelda. So, but just to be on the safe side, you know, you might want to do that if you haven't already. And, oh, or you might, another option is you could uh, skip forward, which I'm not going to tell you when to skip forward. And, what else? All right. Uh, or you could just wait it out. You know, just to be on the safe side. And the final option would be to not bother to watch this video at all because it could be a non constant stuff of course uh, there's just not much left of this game so I don't know how much more left is going to be or it could be in seizure inducing hey baby where you going don't want to shake your baby had to go <laughs> anyway this is not for kids not that, it would, not that it would bother me if a kid watched so anyway uh, and I'm not here to teach you anything you know, and like that. So, what are you doing here? You are a kid, or, or something like that, because this is not for kids. You might want to leave. So, please do leave if you're not that. And uh, so, the only thing that I do here is teach you and guide you to how I would play as a noob, because that's how I am. So much of that I'm, I'm blind, and I'm kind of doing this with professionalism. But when I do. I mean, there's some things that yeah, wouldn't be professionalism, like I'm, you know, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, like like battle tactics-wise, some things that I might have to learn, but then there's a lot of things I already pretty much do learn from, you know, basic controls and stuff. Some things, like special commands and stuff like that, I'd have to, you know, read it through in the game, because I refuse to look this stuff up. There will be no looking up stuff unless I need to for certain puzzles. Which, but since there's not much left of this game, what are you doing? <laughs> you crazy animal. No. <laughs> ah, oh boy, oh boy. Anyway. 
keep me from doing my game here. I love her to death, but anyway, so, yeah. Because literally, <laughs> when I'm blind, I'm blind, because I, I get a, a playthrough that's coming out. It's going to be one video where I didn't know. I mean, I, I could have kept it in there, but it would have been confusing as hell. Because the only hint you're going to get is a name. But anyway, you'll be spoiled soon enough when it comes time. Anyhow, hey guys, DVDKMP, I mean, here, uh, I am DVDKMP, that is my name, I am the best name in the house. Welcome back, folks, one and all, to the Legend of Zelda, a link to the past. In the last episode, well, I think we are trying to wrap up the game, and I uh, screwed up. The official episode was that because the controls screwed up actually themselves when I couldn't finish off the, the Crystal 7 boss. But I'm going to do this with the first boss. And I'm going to skip it because it doesn't really matter how much order I do this in. It doesn't even matter that I, if I go and go get the other weapons before I finish this. It's not necessary, but I can do it anyway. Even getting the glove, which <laughs> is the only way to even get to... Any other place I need the I would need the hammer too. And this boss coming up has numerous ways to defeat it. Um, one of them I never knew you could do. I was actually watching a uh, unfortunately a hack of it. So I mean I didn't really get spoiled from normal ways to do it, just as far as one way to do it, which I didn't know you could do. We'll go over that one time, comes, but I should show this off by going from this point. I've already gotten some rooms, which I probably should have done, but that's where the map is, where I found the map and all that stuff. Well, you know. wow. So what you want to do here is, you know, I I do this with voices. That's that's how I lead you guys. With is I provide it with voices to enter, to be more entertaining, which I think is more. Refreshing when you're watching my videos, anyway. So, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not any better than anybody else, but, you know, I think it's pretty good that I'm doing this. I took out the enemies in this room. There was, like, a, uh, you have to use arrows on them. Uh, two of them you can use your sword against, but it's just better to use your arrows, because one of them you can't use anything with. Now, with this, okay... Like I said, this is going to be a boss run. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for this guy. Okay, no. It's now seeing, may sound crazy, but I think I pretty much know what to do. I've never done this before, but pretty much it's like kind of obvious if you've been playing games long enough to know. Oh, well, you know, okay, so that's obvious. I mean, why do you think they give you the bow? The bow isn't necessarily uh, necessary for... Uh... Yeah. Oh, I forgot to turn on the sound. I'll do that here in just a second. I also kept the safe state just in case because... Oh, crap. Yeah, that right there. Oops. Uh... Let's see here. We'll see. Oh, okay, so we're good there. Oh, God. Um. Oh, God. What's going on? What's going on? No, no, no. Oh, that's not good. It's not where I want that. Sorry, having a bit of technical difficulties here. Didn't mean to do that. But yeah, just in case I need, to, I can need, uh, if I can go back to get the uh, the final heart piece in the game, which is in a mini game. But yeah, I took out this guy. There, we talked about that. Didn't, we? didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Okay, well, we don't need our hearts anyway for this battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So I'm going to show you something that I've never thought about doing before because of this one crazy hack I was watching. And I think it's a pretty interesting meme. I mean, the guy got so pissed off because it was, they're not called that. But, um, okay. The Cave of Samaria. Or, excuse me, I'm sorry, the Cave of Byrona. Uh, that's what we was doing. It was the Cave of Byrona. It was kind of funny in the other one. I mean, he, uh, well, there was so much stuff with that. And I was going to say, well, you know, and then there's Cave of Samaria. But, you know. Anyway, I'd have to recommend it to you, but I'll do that later. So pretty much, we don't really need anything. But coming up with this boss, we could use this uh, thing here. I got pretty much everything except for... Um, no. I don't have silver bowl and arrows because I didn't actually unlock that. But like I said, this is just a... Uh, a, a boss run. So I don't. I don't think I've ever shown this off before. Okay. Oh great. <laughs> yeah, because it's the only way to defeat them. Is the you have to use a hammer on them and then. I did that because I, I found out through the uh, front room how to do that. So, anyway, what's obvious here is. God damn it! Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Those folks. Okay. Who? Gosh. I mean, I need the heat, but it's like as soon as it gets to a certain. Degree, it's like, oh god, it really doesn't feel good. So, what we gotta do here, what? Oh, well, excuse me, anyway. Yeah, if you play enough games, you gotta know. Boom, now you gotta get back. Oh, geez. I guess you should use like two bombs or something. Okay. I'm gonna switch back to the magic camera because I think we have some enemies up coming up here. Okay, maybe one enemy. Now, you don't really need to light these rooms up. That's only necessary for other places. No, we don't want to say quit the game, because then we have to start this all over again. So we're going to do this one bus at a time. Uh, I think it's kind of obvious here. Let's try to do this. Come on. There we go. Okay, I knew it had to be one of those blocks. Ah. Okay, here we go. There we go. Uh -huh. And I got the rupees over there at one point. That can be very, very dangerous for someone who has seizures. Or epilepsy that's that's brought by seizures. Now I actually literally, oops, stop that. I have the next armor. I have this, the mirror shield. I have the three, level three sword. I do not have the four sword. I do not need it for this fight. I could have gotten it, but I would have had to have done a certain amount of crystals. But like I said, this is going to be a boss run. And I forgot to turn on the sound again. Yay, I'm such an imbecile. I don't know what NSRT it does. Let's see here. Yada yada yada. 
uh, console options. Um, uh, oh, where the hell is it now? Input ports. System. No, no. Let's do, uh, oh, yeah, of course, options, audio. Okay. Turn that down a little bit. And this will be the first ever one you're actually supposed to do. But unlike in the light world, like I said before, you don't actually have to do him. And there's certain ways to do this. Yeah, you can use bombs on them too. So let's uh, use the uh, cave of my <laughs> I like that name. Yeah, the reason why I've got that on. Because you can use that strategy. I've never actually used this strategy. I think I've never talked about this boss before. But yeah. Yeah, if you do it this way, you can dodge his tail, so there you go. Okay, we're gonna have to start using blue medicine, but it's okay. So this is the first boss. And the first crystal ever. So, <laughs> as soon as this is done, next video I will meet you down where we need to go. Don't worry, we'll have plenty of room for bonus videos to show off to other places. Give it to Kimpy, because if I you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. This world used to be the golden land where the Triforce was hidden. But because Ganon... Oh, oh, Ganon. Who's Ganon? The boss of these twisted the world was transformed. I'm sure he's intending to conquer even our light world after building his power here. He is trying to open a larger gate between the worlds near the castle using our powers. By the way, that's a foreboding uh, deal that was um, actually the inventor of a hack that was a four that caused a chain event to for them to legitimately make a game called A Link Between Worlds. So, even though at the time they didn't have plans for this, but it is a sort of hint. You know, this is before those times. But that the gate is not open completely yet. If we seven maidens come 
Together we can break the barrier around Ganon's hiding place. I will tell you where the other girls are held. I believe you will destroy Ganon. I will return to my original form at that time. I didn't know you had another form. By the way, by the way, the hero leads to the trifles. And see, the thing about the crystals, I'm guessing, is that it's only, uh, unlike the pendants. Yeah, there are, there is nothing going on in them. They don't have, like, messages or people trapped inside them. It just, <laughs> you grab the pendants and it just comes up with a message going, May the way you lead to the triports and yada yada yada, you know, this and that. So anyway, that's all the time we have with this episode. I will, um, off screen, get this all filled back up and go to, uh, because it's between this, this, and the third crystal boss, as far as I'm, I'm aware of, anyway. Um, and the seventh one that's going to be the hardest one. Five and six, excuse me, oh, I'm sorry, they're at that and four. So, between those ones, are going to be the hardest one. Five and six are like chump chains, or nothing. And what makes them hard is because of how difficult they can be hard to, to take down. So, you know. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of sort of an easy fight, but it can, it's also kind of hard, depending on how you actually take it, take down the boss. So, yeah, I mean, you can actually use the cave, or rather, the cave, even though it's actually called cane, a buyer and a but anyway. The cave of Byron. <laughs> I'm not trying to make fun of the guy. I just I think that was probably said. The cave of Byron. Uh. It's actually a pretty cool name because of how funny it can be used, you know, for many aspects of the game. But anyway, so in the next episode, for sure, we'll do that. And um, yeah. So thank you all for watching, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button, share, and share the video. So like the video, share the video. Um, pretty much, and punch the ever-loving crap out of that doggone piece of manure, piece of crap notification bell because you know so you can next know when I post a video. So, yeah. Yeah. And, the, the, uh, before I go, I want to wrap this up with, the scheduling for this is just me wrapping this game up, so, <laughs> I apologize for me actually not putting this, I have time for me putting this on the regular schedule because, like it was before, but... I only had some much to do left, and I'm just, it's just uh, about time I start finishing it anyway. So, you know, and I've got, like, one more piece. I think that's the one for the final, final heart container in this entire game. Which the heck that I saw actually had an extra heart piece. Which made no sense. I mean, why even have an extra heart piece if you can't even fill it up? <laughs> anyway. Later. Bye-bye. I'll see you all, I mean, you all see me next time, I hope you will, in the next exciting conclusion of Zelda. Link to the past for the next boss run to wrap up this game. I'm only going to take about a few episodes at least. Later.